Good evening. We are anonymous. The white rose was, like anonymous is, an idea, and ideas never die. Originally operating in Germany, from 1942 to 1943, the White Rose was an anonymous, intellectual and non-violent resistance group, who wrote and distributed anonymous leaflets. During that time in Germany, not only were the tools of fear at use, but the Nazi party was influencing children in efforts to control how they think and behave. Anti-Nazi news broadcasts steam fake by the Nazi party were soon cancelled and replaced with pro-Nazi propaganda. So, the White Rose conducted anonymous campaigns to spread information, thoughts and ideas to counter this, calling for their fellow citizens to oppose such fear. They were given space to meet by a bookstore owner who, secretly dealt in banned books. Their leaflets were written anonymously and asked their fellow citizens to fight for the future and always have hope. They spread their ideas in every public space they could, risking, and in some cases losing their lives while doing so. Those who received leaflets were prompted to protect their fellow citizens from criminal dictators and to support the resistance movement, freedom of speech and freedom of religion. To this idea, a white rose stands for purity and innocence in the face of evil. These words, the last of hands shown, let freedom live, ring as true today in the United States of America, as they did then in Germany. As good citizens we, and that means you too, are obligated to keep this idea alive. Our country needs us, for it is completely dysfunctional, it currently cannot heal, and lacks proper leadership. Some of you listening now will become the leaders we need, and we are so happy you are here. When the time comes, we will be ready to serve you faithfully. We need to work together, to find ways to help our fellow citizens, even the ones we dislike. Yet we must be prepared at the same time for the fight which looms. We all remember the 6th of January, 2021, and their threat it exposed. Anonymous will never tell people who to vote for, but with certain adverse ideas of others at play, we can continue ours by sharing it loudly, by stating the facts about how things are, and trying to motivate our fellow citizens to help our homeland truly heal, and move forward in a positive way, towards what is best for all of us, not just a few. What is best for that few is, for us to continue hating and fighting each other. That is why, now, we are all stuck in this sick mess together. We have been divided, and our leadership does not provide ways to heal, only how to continue that hatred. So currently, we face two not so good options, two parties known for lies and scandals. If one party wins, fear has been spread that our beloved constitution will no longer have, the respect and authority it is deserved, nor will it apply to everyone. We are told to expect the dismantling and perversion of certain government agencies, departments etc., which many of us rely on, especially our children, who are the future of our country. There are numerous implied national and global repercussions of this party's implied win. Then on the other hand, if that same party loses, fear has been spread of a so-called civil war. Ideas never die, as is the White Rose, so is Anonymous. We will combat this fear in a non-violent manner. Love is key in this, and should always be. Love for yourself. Love for your family. Love for your neighbors, no matter what sign or flag is in their yard. Love for our wonderful home, the United States of America. We love you all. No matter your political affiliation, your religion, color of your skin, nor your identity by any matter, we love you all. We, together, have to share this land. We must learn to shed this fear of the rich and their unstable power. We must take back our government and teach both parties a lesson. Join us. The idea may be yours too, if you so choose. Be anonymous. Be the white rouse. Or just be you. It does not matter, just as long as you be the change you wish to see, because if you do not, then others will do it for you. We all let this happen, so we can all fix this. It is okay to be embarrassed, we make mistakes, but we show wisdom and honor, 
when we learn and grow from such mistakes. Those of you so ashamed of your words and actions, have tried to hide and lie, to escape the ridicule you once earned, that time is now over. You do not have to admit and say sorry, for you are forgiven, just stop, now, and follow the light home, because America needs you too. You are not forgotten, we will leave a candle burning for you. The White Rose encourages the spreading of our idea. Please assist by sharing as much of what we can provide, in any way you see fit. Share online, or make and distribute your, own leaflets. Talk with family, friends, neighbors, teachers, religious and political leaders. Use art, music and dance. Whatever it is that you shine in, then do it and shine like you never have before. Let your concerns and stance be known, for this is not the time for silence. The White Rose will do its best, to provide information to help in understanding, preventing and fighting the darkness, which we all face. We will start by initiating five operations, which we will only participate in to a certain level. Anonymous and the White Rose may not speak for America. We, as Americans, must speak our peace individually, on this journey together. Neither can Anonymous offer you protection. We cannot and will not fight back or defend anyone more than we are already doing. After those five ops, we will do our best to continue providing information and guidance. As always, we will try to publish music, poetry and art in an attempt to keep morale up and motivation rolling. We are all brothers and sisters, and we do not have to like each other, but since in this together, we must get along and help each other back up do it for the kids, they need better examples. The success of Anonymous Project White Rose and its five operations, will only be achieved through the hope, motivation and will of the common citizen, that means you. So, do not seek to impress us, rather, strive to impress yourself. We believe in our fellow citizens, all of you, and we love you and our country, for better or worse. For those of you who may take our idea so close to heart you become the idea, then hello, welcome, and remember, do us and yourself, proud, by remaining non-violent. Take care of yourself and those you care for. Keep yourself healthy, strong and safe. Stay vigilant and keep love in your heart. We need you. America needs you. And above most, our children need you, for they are the future. Let us stand together, for a future we can all be proud of. You matter, you belong and, you are more powerful than you think. Believe in yourself. We will no longer remind you all to remember, remember, the 5th of November, for no matter which way things go, November 5th of 2024, will most likely never be forgotten. Change is in the wind. Brace yourselves. Always keep hope and we will see you on the other side. We got this. We are anonymous, we are the White Rose, and we are Legion. We may forgive, but we never forget. Ideas never die.